Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. Um, this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want to book a personal with me, check the description box below. Also, if you're looking for information on spirituality, you can purchase my book. It's called Awakening, A Person's Guide to Healing and Manifesting. It has a lot of herbs or magical properties. It has over 100 affirmations, um, manifesting crystals, how to manifest things into reality, numerology, angel numbers, moon faces, dream interpretations, and more, okay? Um, all right, so let's get started. And you guys, spirit guys, a good little light for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Capricorn. Clear and precise messages. Let's see what we got going on. So, current situation for Capricorn, current situation. You got here the Five of Swords. There's definitely a lot of envy and jealousy, okay? This is a person in your current situation, a person that broke you and your true person apart. Okay, showing up here with the Five of Swords. That talks about racism as well. Okay, somebody is a bully. Um, let's see what the blockage is. What's the blockage? Blockage for Capricorn. So right now, you could be separated from your person. Okay, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn energy. Okay, that's you. All right, so it's turning you upside down, okay? It's basically you are unhappy because of this, all right? There's only one person for you. It's almost the energy that I'm picking up here. Um, let's see here. All right. What's in the foundation for Capricorn? Yeah, the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, all right? This is a person who goes straight for the jugular, okay? You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? But it's almost like this is your person, but here you have a, a person who separated you, okay? Could be like a boss figure, father figure as well, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right, what's in the recent past? Recent past for Cappy. Yeah, you're blindfolded with the ability to remove that blindfold and see things clearly, but you're not. Okay, there's a lot of emotions stuck here. There's stagnity. There's uh, a chance. You have to choose between two. Okay, so definitely a choice that needs to be made. All right, but you're at a stagnation. You're stagnant at this moment. Okay, what's on your subconscious? What's on your mind? Subconscious mind. Subconscious subconscious mind all right the three of swords definitely a third party situation you're heartbroken okay um what's in the near future what's in the near future for cappy Ten of Pentacles, you're going to build legacy wealth, okay? An inheritance could be significant, right? Moving somewhere could be significant. Ten of Pentacles, all right? What's hidden? What's hidden? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's really upset with you, okay? Because of some, some sort of choice that you're making. This is also a person who's non-committal. They're here for a good time, not a long time. All right. All right. What is um in your environment? Yeah, the full Aquarius energy. So taking a leap of faith. Okay, somebody could be around you. This is you. This could be you taking a leap of faith into the unknown. What's in your hopes and fears? Hopes and fears. Yeah, setting some sort of healthy boundary, being defensive. Okay, so you could be fearing that your person could be defensive towards you. What's in the outcome? A lot of fights, arguments, fighting for something. Okay, let's start clarifying and see what's going on here. What's the Five of Swords in the current situation for Capricorn? By the way, happy birthday. Capricorn. All right, the high priestess. 
Okay, so somebody could be a tarot reader. Somebody knows what's going on. Keeping your moves silent at this time. Okay, you could be into tarot. All right, but somebody knows that this was caused by somebody else. This separation or this third party was caused by somebody else. It could be family. Okay, showing up. You might have to choose between your family and your person. Blood is thicker than water, but at the same time, I feel like that was your your happiness was there with that person. Okay, so let's see. King of Pen um Five of Swords. Yeah, with the King of Swords. Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. Okay, um King of Swords is cutting the bullshit. Alright. Somebody who doesn't want to deal with it, they could be a tarot reader. They could be into spirituality, very spiritual. Okay. This is the person that you were separated from. What's the King of Pentacles in the reverse? Okay. You're not being very resourceful at this time, or somebody's not being very resourceful at this time. There's a lot of instability, or this person has caused you to be unstable. Unstable. You got Leo, the strength card. You got the nine of pentacles with the world showing up. So somebody could do something online, okay, with the world, right? There's a need for closure, but there hasn't been. This is Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, um, Scorpio energy, okay? With the nine of pentacles, this person is single, okay? Or you're single, not codependent, all right? And then the Leo, the strength card, it's almost like control. Like somebody is taming the lion's mouth. You don't want to hear it or they don't want to hear it. Having some sort of inner strength to come through and say something. What's the queen of swords in the foundation? Yeah, being left out in the cold, you could have ghosted somebody or somebody ghosted you and that caused this person to basically have a lot of nightmares or have um, anxiety, okay, anxiety driven with the queen of swords. Somebody was left out in the cold. You could have ghosted a, a Aquarius Libra Gemini and now you're kind of, now it's almost like with the nine of swords showing up there's anxiety nightmares you could be dreaming with this person okay what's the two of swords in the recent past yeah the devil that's your energy capricorn energy okay addictions could be significant but let's see bondage what's the devil with the two of swords Somebody's definitely stalking. Somebody's definitely looking at your social media, trying to figure out some sort of information or flip it, switch it. That could be you. Okay. With the devil, this is obsessive, like very obsessive energy. Okay. Somebody's not letting somebody go here and they're keeping, they're stagnant. They're not moving forward because of it. What's the three of swords? What's the three of swords? So the three of swords talks about a third party situation it could be a breakup of some sort yeah with another three so this is it's almost like this person orchestrated oh yeah you guys are meant to be with each other and then all of a sudden they bullied they bullied you because you were going to get back with this person okay and this is a third party situation all right with the three of swords collaborating working together somebody could be working together to not bring you to you and this person together okay but this is like a group of people what's the three of swords and the three of pentacles yeah with the knight of swords there is hasty communication okay there is definitely um Somebody acted in their impulse and left here. All right, what is the Ten of Pentacles in the near future? So that talks about legacy wealth. There could be a mother, a mother figure trying to like tell you, hey, you should go ahead and give this person another chance or something like that. It's family, okay? Your mother's okay with this, or this could be like a mother figure. 
that's kind of stopping you from from giving a, an offer of some sort. Or somebody that want or somebody that acts like yeah. Definitely a lot of love showing up. Okay, she's giving you good advice as to yeah, you should come in and offer this person this cup of love. What's the King of Wands under hidden? But somebody's really, really mad about that. So your mom could be okay. The Your brother could not. So somebody in the family doesn't want you or your friends doesn't want you with this person. Um, a relationship is between two people, not between you and the person and everybody in your family and their family and everything like that. If you're in love with somebody, you got to go ahead and, and, and do your thing. Okay. Because everybody has a chance to be with their, with their significant other. But I feel like you guys are... You guys are not together because somebody's stopping you from being together. What is this Knight of Wands? Sagittarius energy showing up. Okay. Having um, moderation. Okay. Somebody could be trying to balance something. Somebody could be doing some sort of spiritual magic, okay, to try to keep you and this person away from one another, mixing some sort of liquids and stuff. Salt and uh, oil and vinegar is what I'm picking up, okay? They don't mix, okay? Or you, your family member does not mix with this person, okay? So it's almost like you have no other choice but to stick with family, but at the same time, it's, it's not right, okay? Both of you are losing out on a great opportunity here. Sagittarius season could be significant. So that is November 22nd to December 21st. What is this um, uh, King of Wands with the temperance? Yeah, the sun in the reverse. Something is being, something got exposed. All right, it's not, you're not happy at this moment or they're not happy at this moment. Somebody is shining here and someone's mad because they're shining that's envy betrayal what's the fool in your environment yeah getting out of being trapped in a situation you had it in the reverse okay so jail could be significant all right somebody is in some sort of spiritual jail or they're about to jump into some sort of spiritual jail for trying to separate you and your loved one and the other person that you're supposed to be with What's the fool? Yeah, wish fulfillment with the nine of wands. Nine of cups, nine of wands. 99 could be significant. You could be seeing synchronicities. 10, 10 could be significant. 4, 4, 4 could be significant. 11, 11 could be significant. So you got here the nine of cups. This is your wish fulfillment, okay? But there's some sort of like no communication at this time. You don't want to take that leap of faith towards this person because you had the nine of wands in the reverse. You used to be persistent, but now you're not. What's the seven of wands? Seven of Wands and your hopes and fears, okay, that this person, you're setting some sort of healthy boundaries. You could be telling your family, hey, don't be involved in my in my situation or your friends. Don't be involved in my situation so that you could reconcile with this person with a judgment showing up, a reconciliation of some sort. They could have been judging this person very harshly for no reason whatsoever just because somebody was jealous of them. Okay, what, give me one more for the Seven of Wands. Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles. You are, um, it's taking, there's some sort of delay and it's taking a very, very long time for you to reach out to this person or this person to reach out to you because there's somebody in the middle that's causing this breakup, okay? And it's almost like they're happy about it. They're smirking, okay? They're like happy that you and this person are away from one another. What's the five of wands and the outcome? Yeah, you're stagnant. With Pisces energy, okay, this is um, seeing things from a different perspective. Somebody, 
is um is almost like you have to sacrifice somebody or well sacrifice one or the other is either you pick your family or you pick this person something like that okay there's a there's a need for a sacrifice like you have to sacrifice yourself for from doing this in order to be with this person or reconcile with this person okay what is the hangman it's like you're basically stagnant they're keeping you hung okay upside down and it's like you're in your comfort zone you got too comfortable you're doing leg tricks you're upside down here what what is the five of wands Yeah, seven of pentacles so you're patiently waiting you're starting to kind of see the fruits of your labor okay so you could be working but at this time you're trying to see if anything if somebody else gets good with your significant other so that everything could be at peace all right patiently waiting what is the seven of pentacles yeah queen of cups there's a cancer pisces scorpio who is very um manipulative okay they could be a guy but they're acting like a girl it's almost like a divine feminine okay they like um they're vibing very low it's just because they're envious they're telling you do not give this cup of love to that person okay don't pay attention do what it is that you feel like doing okay page of wands in the reverse you don't want to make that step because this person is it's almost like you're being bullied yeah, so you're focused on work. You're. It's almost like they're telling you, do not work on this, don't work on this. But you could be focused on work right now, just getting your money, getting your pentacles. Okay, anything else? Yeah, seven of swords. Seven of swords. There's a trickster, somebody who's very um, manipulative here. A trickster, a liar, thief. Aquarius energy showing up. What is this seven of swords with the eight? Somebody could be copying what it is that you do for work. Okay. You could be self-employed here or work from home. Cancerian energy. Something hidden is coming to light with Aquarius energy. So some sort of renewal and hope in the Queen of Pentacles. It's almost like you might feel like this Aquarius that you could be dealing with. Uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn it's almost like this is where where the hope lies okay but then you have the moon this is Cancerian energy which is the same card that I was showing here something hidden coming to light okay somebody could be illuminating the masses here but again it's almost like a third party you see this lobster it's over here and this dog is feral and this one is tame um there's a feral dog and a tame dog, and it's like they're both arguing here. But this person is the cause for them to be arguing, okay? So, Cancerian energy. If not, they would be perfectly balanced. Yeah, they cause some sort of tower moment, right? A tower is where the foundation is not steady. So, it needs to crumble down so that you could rebuild again. Yeah, put something to rest. Somebody needs to rest. Um, there's a lot of people that could be like involved in your life at this time scorpio energy the death card that needs to end okay you need to put an end to that shit let's see what we got in here I also feel here that family um, or a friend could be doing some sort of spell work on you and you think that it's this other person. But all they were doing is their, your family could, or friends could be doing the spell work so that you and this person don't get together. But it's affecting you and they're making you think that this person is the other person that's doing it. And it's not. Be careful around your surroundings, okay? The people closest to you could be the people that are the worst to be around. You got here, sometimes you need to take a break and disconnect from the world. 
Okay, you do not need validation from others. You're whole and complete all by yourself. So yeah, stop asking people, should I get back with this person or should I give them a chance or stuff like that? If that's what your heart is telling you to do, then do that. That's your heart chakra, okay? Your heart chakra could be in balance right now. So that talks about loneliness. Your cold, There's some coldness. There's despair, okay? Heart-related problems. You got here the number 999. So this talks about releasing, Okay, so release certain aspects of your life that are come. There's certain aspects of your life that are coming to a close. An important cycle is ending at this time. So yeah, you're whole and complete all by yourself. You don't need advice from anybody. Nonetheless, if you're getting advice from somebody who's been divorced five times, that's not the person to go seek advice from. Okay, or if they're with somebody that they act they hate and they use that's not the person you get advice from okay a person could love another so much that sometimes they push them away that could be you you could be a little afraid of falling in love again or giving this a chance just because you were on the sideline watching doesn't mean you were losing it means you were learning so you could be on the sideline you've been looking and you've been you're very um intuitive you're very on top of things you're paying attention to a lot of things at this time but it's almost like you're you're stuck between a rock and a hard place here you're dismissing intuitive downloads you could be uh telepathically communicating with your with your person here imbalance root chakra so that talks about low self-esteem addictions and money problems so you're definitely, you need to align your chakras is what I'm picking up here. All right, surround yourself with like-minded individuals, people that think alike. I feel like you you and this person could have already been building legacy wealth together, okay, with the Ten of Pentacles. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Game over, moving on. Okay, so you're definitely, whoever it is that you, you've been connected to or something like that, either you're moving on or they're moving on because it's almost like a game jupiter expansion that's sagittarius ruling planet jupiter expansion prosperity okay so you're definitely expanding there's going to be some sort of prosperity insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result okay so somebody does need to hear that because if you continue going back to the same people, if you continue going back to oh, what family says or what friends are saying and stuff like that, it's you're going to drive yourself crazy. Libra could be significant or the dates 923 to 1022 could be significant. Right, take pride in what you have built. Sagittarius showing up again. So 1122 to 1221. You could be with a Sagittarius feelings and intuition. Okay. Um, something about the full moon could be significant. Maybe you're doing some stuff like manifesting things on the full moon. Prioritize where you're giving your time and who you grind for. Then you got here the sacral chakra, which is imbalanced. This talks about having rigid beliefs, lack of spontaneity, and sexual issues. Addictions come in many forms. Balance is key. So addictions could come. Maybe you're drinking too much or... Addictions could come in many forms. So it could be sexual addictions. It could be addicted to working too much, you know, something like that. There needs to be some sort of balance in your life at this time. Okay, sometimes that those that are in power use fear as a tool to control others. So yeah, I do believe this is happening um, where somebody is involved causing some sort of fear, okay, so that you and your person break up or stay broken up. In this case, all right, see the situation from the outside looking in before making a decision, and you got Virgo. So, work on you. Okay, you could be working on yourself. 823 to 922 could be significant. 
Okay, unlimited resources are coming soon, but time management is essential for your growth. So don't spend too much time watching TV and stuff like that. Aries energy showing up as well. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries. All right, so breathe is showing up. Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. So definitely start meditating, okay? Prosperity, Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality, okay? Only you have the power to change your life. Only you have the power to be with who, whomever you want to be with. Only you have, don't be a follower, be a leader, okay, is what I'm hearing. Spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. You got here, brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Your ideas are divinely guided. Play, please take action to bring your ideas into fruition. Okay, so you could be nurturing a situation. You need to actually put it into action. Okay, Archangel Therapy, Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. You got here, Archangel Jophiel. Get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. So get rid of all the things that you don't need. Throw them out. You know, like releasing, moving on with your life, closing the chapter. You have to throw these things out. Okay, victory. Somebody could, I don't know why I'm picking up, like somebody has somebody's clothes or something like that. And you're wearing these people, this person's clothes or, oh, this is the shirt that I sleep with and stuff like that. No. Don't do that because you're still in their energy and they're still in your energy. But then again, you got this one trying to break y'all up. So it's actually causing some more stagnation in your life. Okay. With the two of swords. All right. Victory. Archangel Sandalphon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. All right. So you need to nurture the situation. Um, quit nurturing the situation and actually put it into action. Okay. I feel like you and your person could be mirroring each other as well. Yeah, communication is key, and it's it's upside down. Okay, so it's in the reverse, so there's no communication between you and this person right now. Okay, new moon in Gemini. What is communication is key? Yeah, it's time to release negativity. Okay, so release the negativity that you might have, and then communicate with this person, or you guys are not in communication. Somebody here is releasing negativity, or they know about the negativity that somebody else could be causing. All right, a new start is coming. You got here, believe in the impossible. So, believe in the impossible. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. Meditate and contemplate. One more. Meditate and contemplate. All right, surrender to the divine. So, give, surrender to the divine. And let your angel guys, your spirit guys, whoever you subscribe to take action, okay, for you. Stop paying attention to people, okay, and what they have to say, because sometimes they're giving the wrong advice. All right, divine masculine, okay, you could be a divine masculine, they could be the, your divine masculine, so let's see. Deception, temptation. All right, epiphany, breakthrough. So you could have had some sort of epiphany. Somebody could have been telling you that you were being decept decepted. Somebody was lying to you, okay? Um, and you're having some sort of epiphany that isn't true. That's your divine masculine. What's deception, temptation? Growth and summer. So in the summer, it could be, yeah, you guys are definitely reflect you guys are mirroring each other okay there's a reflection showing up here so projection somebody could be projecting onto you what they've done or vice versa what's masculine avoidance stalemate so there could be a divine masculine that's avoiding there's there's a stalemate this divine masculine is avoiding this communication
yeah, fate, detours, divine intervention. So what's destined to happen and what's destined, nobody could really fuck with that. This is something that's supposed to happen. If you guys are meant to be together, you guys will meet, be together. Okay, just people have to mind their own business. Self-care energy. So there's a person here that's doing self-care healing, right? Lighting candles, okay, manifesting, lighting candles and manifesting. What's self-care? with detours and divine intervention continue working on yourself doing reversals return to sender so that you could finally get through whatever voodoo or magic they're sending your way you got here abundance presence gratitude so be in the present don't think about what's gonna happen and and oh what's gonna happen two weeks from now and stuff like that doesn't matter what's gonna happen two weeks from now is two weeks from now so you're stuck in the past that brings depression you're stuck in the future that brings anxiety stay in the present one more yes yeah, surrender release purge somebody is not releasing you and you're not releasing them and it's because you guys are meant to be what's release surrender in the reverse purge storm unexpected some sort of change be careful with the weather okay what's release in the reverse with storm yeah action you got here action new beginnings jupiter okay so having the courage to move on your own you're here by yourself you're moving on by your own Okay, without anybody's input. Not everybody wants the, the best for you. Because if you were to go with this person, then some other person can use you. Is the energy that I'm picking up here. All right? Yeah, they're, you're, it's either you or them. They're in regret. Okay, whoever is doing this is in regret. Okay, they, they feel like they really fucked up by doing this. They're repressed right now. They're toxic toxicity and bound okay rebirth seed spring could be a significant your ego could be an issue okay so ego could be an issue here or their ego could be an issue okay somebody is not calling each other because of their ego driven okay oh well i shouldn't say this or i shouldn't call this or i shouldn't do this or whatever because this is not my fault there's a need for communication to happen okay so that's what I got for you, Capricorn. Like and subscribe. Um, if you need to book a personal, you know where to find it. It's in the description box below. Have a good one. Peace.